guys good for that. Right? Okay, try one. Try one. Yeah. Oh, it looks very interesting in there. No, they definitely don't. Look, look at this. Look at the box comparison. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Welcome to the taste test. It looks good. So we have cauliflower gnocchi, milk chocolate pretzels, crispy honeycomb, organic roasted chestnuts, smooth ice blocks, twisted minis, microwave pork crackle, stroop waffles, Brazilian cheese breads. Okay, boys. So these are our bonus products today because we are the only two left because you ate them so fast. They're the twisted healthy treats, minis, watermelon, and mango. What other flavors were there that you ate? Cookie dough and blueberry. Chocolate and I don't know. Vanilla. Chocolate. Chocolate. And chocolate. Okay. Those we'll went the these. fastest. These are the only two that were left, so we'll try these. Are they both the same flavor? Yep. Yeah. Okay. What does it What does it taste like? Watermelon and mango. Okay. So rating out of Ten, maybe. And it's yogurt, isn't it? It's not ice cream. It's yogurt. Frozen yogurt. Five calories. Not eight. eight calories matter to eight. boys. Yeah, eight. eight. Eight out of ten. What about you, Lex? Eight. Okay, you don't have to eat all of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hands over. Put the spoon in me. Okay, extra. Another bonus product we're trying today is the smooth fruit ice coconut and mango flavor. It says you can put them in smoothies or like drinks and you can make cocktails with them. What are they made out of? It's just coconut, mi oh, coconut milk. milk. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Very good. Out of 10? Um, I think they like everything. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. 9.5. 9. 9. Oh, oh, really? Wow. That's pretty high. I think they're pretty healthy. Um, 8. 8? That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, milk chocolate pretzels that we've seen, but Lucas can't eat them because they're gluten, but Tom's going to eat them. And we've seen them, we saw them last week, but we've never got them before. Yeah. Lucas wants his yogurt oh, yeah, back. Oh, it's, it's, oh, like a, like, it's like stuck together. Oh, they're all stuck they're together. All stuck together. Oh, that's probably not on purpose. You know it is, huh? What? That's so weird. Okay, Tom, what all do you them, think? They're all doubled up. No, it's like really contemplating that. this. I, I think that if you like salty and sweet combined, you'll like this, yeah. generally. Maybe you should try one. It's still pretty good. Try one? Yeah, I'll try one. Okay. You can crunch in this. This tastes like milk chocolate with a bit of crunch, but I actually don't think they're salty enough. Five, eight, okay. five. This is a seven. Okay. Because the chocolate tastes a bit... I told you, it's hmm. seven. Five, okay. five. Next thing. Next thing is the... Crispy honeycomb, handmade sponge toffee, and dark chocolate. We've been. We saw these last week, and we were very excited. Ooh, oh. 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 <laughs> Tom's like. <laughs> you can do a double one since you didn't have the last one. It looks like a healthy version of a crunchy bar. They're all different sizes. Dark chocolate with so, sea salt. Ooh. Real honey. It says first a dark chocolate crunch, then a mouth-watering wild honey munch. Next a moment to savor the sweet and scrumptious flavour and in the end a perfect blend of wild honey droplets and smooth rich dark chocolate. Mm, yum. Well the inside's really good, it tastes like a crunch. Wait, 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 hold it up so I can do like a little zoom in. Honeycomb tastes really good, it tastes like a crunchy, okay. but a bit overpowering. Okay, what do you think Tom? Yeah, this doesn't taste that good, only the inside. Really? Mmm. Is it good? Tastes like actual honey. Yeah, you like, like actual honey. More so than, more so than um, crunchy but No, crunchy doesn't oh, even really yeah. taste like honey. But this actually tastes like like real honeycomb. And the chocolate part is really good. Out of 10. Okay. I give that like a 10. Or maybe a 9.5. <laughs> okay, so now we're trying these. What are these called? Just they're called stroopwafels. And I forget where they're like from. Toffee. Somewhere. Oh, 
top in Europe. Toasted waffles filled with caramel. And inside there's like three packets of ten. Ooh. Crumbly. Yeah, you're supposed to put it like on. Oh, see, look at the mug. Look at the back of that. Can you bring the packet up? So you're supposed to put it like. No, no, on the side. Ooh, so they're very. They're like circular. Okay, so Lucas can have this. They're, they're quite as well. thin. Yeah, because it's gluten. Um, but you can try. I think it's got caramel. It's, heavy. it's got caramel on the inside. Yeah, it's quite thick. It's like bread when you do yeah, that. Yeah, you try. Look at my little pile. Oh, you're still going. Yeah, mmm. That's, that's yummy. Uh, I'll have my ice it tastes like the cookie part's really good, and then it's like a cinnamon. different. Yeah, it tastes like cinnamon. It's got like a. On the inside. Yeah, it's got like a cinnamon flavor. The cookie part, and then on the inside, it's really gooey. That's really yum. Okay. Right. So these. These are cheese balls. So next thing is these Brazilian cheese breads and then these are gluten free so Lucas can have them. And we put them in the air fryer. Yeah, so we'll have a look at what they're like inside. Oops. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Ooh, look at that cheese pool. So try Lucas try one and yeah, Tom you, try, Tom, one. Okay, what do you think, Tom? <laughs> that wasn't a very good look. Three. Three out of ten? What's wrong with them? Why? What's they're wrong? They're just too cheesy and like, it, the whole thing's cheesy. No, they're, they're, not, they're not really cheesy, they're just too doughy and they just taste like plain bread. Yeah. But it's not just bread, it, looks, it just tastes like flour. Poor. And it's a bit sickening as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's still pretty good, they just taste a bit floury and doughy. Why do I think everything's good? I'm going to make, I'm going to make noise while I put these... Oh, we still want more. Yeah, we've got more. Roasted chestnuts. Okay. What did you, what, what did you guys write? They wrote like three. a three and a four. Three. I'm opening these ones. I've never had a chestnut. Okay. Side here, there are six packets like this. What are you supposed to do with them? Oh. Maybe to eat, maybe just eat. show them ready to eat, you just eat them. Do fries and salads and stuff like that. That's probably what I'll do. The oh, organic as well. Natural. Yeah, I'm very sweet. You smell them. Roast beef. They smell like roast beef. See, really? Roast beef. Yeah, they smell like that pink meat. What's that? Oh, that's what they look like. Wait, wait. Let me. Can you bring it to the camera so you can see? Yeah, they look wet. They feel wet. Oh, okay. That's a very odd looking shape. It looks like chocolate. It does look like chocolate, doesn't it? looks like a little like, caramel chocolate. or something. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, well, why are they so... Oh, they're all so oily. Yeah. Oh, they look so Okay, three, two, one. Oh, they're all so oily. Oh, yeah, they kind of do. Oh, they're so oily. 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 Oh, they Okay, I'm gonna break my intimate advice like, to try this. It's okay, got no flavour. Okay, you try one. That's the oh, it's not even like that. It's like salty. chewy. No, it's like soggy. No, no. But you would think, when you look at a nice picture, you would think that these it's are like hot. crunchy. Crunchy and a bit like macadamia in that. Oh, I'm so excited, but these taste like soggy. You have one. Oh, okay, disgusting. I don't want to be disappointed. Like they don't even taste like one. But I will have another one because they're quite. It tastes like a chickpea. Exactly. No, it tastes like it tastes like one of those like white beans. You know why they're really nice? Once you get over your disappointment that they're not like a macadamia nut, and then you take it for what it mm. is, it's actually quite tasty. It's actually quite sweet. No. Yeah. I like it actually. No, one out of two. Right. Okay, I'm gonna microwave this. I love it. Microwave pork cracker. We were really like, I was. We were laughing because I thought that was like popcorn, but I didn't actually realize it was it's actually cool. microwave pork crackling. And this is pork why would you want your pork, pork crackle? crackle? Why would you want microwave? that? With gluten. I know you like pork crackle, but I like pork every day. Oh, it is. It's just like the, it's like the whole popcorn concept in the microwave. Right. Okay. It's side down. I've got options. Shake the bag. Shake the bag. More. Shake from side to side five times. And then one to two minutes. We'll let it go. Okay. 
The flavours are split in half, so it's mixed. You can either have one flavour here on one side or the other. And if they're mixed, sometimes they taste okay. But also, also the good the in the in the packet of those twisted ice blocks, there were also chocolate and vanilla and blueberry and cookie dough. So there's kind of a flavour for everyone. If you like more chocolate or if you like more fruity flavours. The cookie dough was good. So now I've broken my fast. I'm trying this one and oh. This is really this is good. So good. This, this is the. This is a stroopwafel because it just looks like you're waving around a piece of bread. But <laughs> this is a stroopwafel. And it's not gonna last because I'm eating it right now. Also, because the caramel was really good, but the actual biscuit I thought it was gonna be like a wafer, but it's like so much more oh. than a wafer. I'm trying this now. The honey cream. Mm. Yeah. I looked at it last week. That's actually quite a good price. That's what I think it's a good price. Because I love dark chocolate, it's better than crunchy for me. Mm. Oh, that's a 10 for me. 10. Uh, really? So, so are the strip I think yeah. these are a 10, and then also the. No, the waffle ones are a 10. The, wa the strip waffles are a 10, and so is the honeycomb. Okay, microwave oh, pork crackle. Oh, it looks very interesting in there. This is like a very interesting concept. It's good, but it's not something I'd have a lot of. Five. Really? I'll give it a seven. Um, try some more. I don't like crackle that much. Okay. Alright, I'm trying. Do you want to hear okay. more? Crackle yeah, we're going to try the... Mmm. It's like a crunch. Failed at that job. So was it good or not? Mm. Uh, I'll try another bit. It's not the best. Mmm. It does taste like crackle, but you can actually eat it without breaking your teeth. Okay, that's good. Try some? Mama's, Mama's egg. Not really. Oh, Mum, she's finding a way to turn the lady. Oh, no. It's quite, like, airy. <gasps> Look. So excited it's about this. It's called cauliflower. It's like gnocchi. gnocchi made out of cauliflower. We have a cauliflower gnocchi, which Mum and I have actually tried, and we really like it. It tastes like actual... It tastes pretty good. It tastes yeah, like gnocchi. Right. We'll usually have it with sauce, but the boys are just going to try it plain. But it's it's really good ingredients. It's just made out of cauliflower like vegetables. and cassava flour. It like doesn't really taste like anything. It is quite plain. Well, you like pesto. Would you eat that with pesto? Probably not. Why? Hmm. It's like broccoli. I like it, but I don't like it. I think that the texture yeah, is better. the texture is really good. It tastes. Do you like the texture? Seven. Dad's gonna make a coffee, so we can try the biscuit with the coffee. Okay, I'll try yeah. the trick where you put it on the top. You guys can go. Say bye. Now, Lucas. <laughs> bye. Thanks Thanks for helping. On top of the cup. Yeah. Okay, okay can't you can't load it no. on the coffee. It's supposed to go over so that it melts the caramel. Never mind. Cheers. Dip. Okay, we're trying again. Um, but bro's still asleep, so we're gonna wake him up with this. Let's see if anything happens. Apparently, caramel's supposed to drip down the sides or something. Oh. Nothing's happening. Oh, no, it's good. Oh, it is getting melted. Okay, so try it. Maybe it's just like it just gets nice and soft. Just take your shoes off before you come in. It's raining. Leave doggy outside. Oh, look, it looks like it's collapsing. I have to put this paper bit on speed. This is the most, yeah, like. Oh, it looks like it's collapsing in the middle. Yeah. It's not oozing of caramel or anything. But it's like soft. It's soft. Maybe then try like doing the pool. Should I try and do the pool now? Oh. Oh, it's hot. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of got gooey. Mm. See, it's kind of gooey on the inside now. And the caramel's melted. But I think I, I still like it both yeah. ways, though. But this yeah, might definitely be melt as well with the heat. Yeah. It looks really nice. Yum. It's like a grilled cheese.